Hello and welcome to part seven, I think it is, of the Nemesis Warbringer Titan build guide. And this part seven will mainly focus on magnets. And uh, you may have been waiting for this video for quite a while, so thank you for your patience. Um, I'll be going through all the, the magnetization uh, of the model uh, that I've uh, worked on, all the tips and tricks. Uh, I've used these tips and tricks with all of my other sort of resin models, everything from um, Contempt to Dreadnoughts to the Warlord Titan uh, to the Thunderhawk and the Mastodon I've built. So like I say, I'm going to be showing you magnetization for all of the uh, the parts um, that I deem should be magnetized on this uh, model. Uh, first thing is it's not necessary because they fit quite well uh, on the, the top carapace, but it is uh, the uh, Anvilus auto cannons right here. I'm surrounded by magnets. I buy my magnets from uh, First for Magnets. They're pretty good. Uh, they arrived very quickly, and um, so I can't fault them for that. Um, now, the magnets I want to use for the auto cannons or quad cannons uh, are the six millimeter two by two millimeter um, neodymium uh, magnets. Now, I always go for the neodymium uh, magnets. I've gone for six by two just because I don't have any eight by two. If you've got eight by two, uh, that's probably better because that'll fit in the hole um, a bit more snugly. And that's kind of what you want. You want them to fill that hole. You want a nice snug fit, don't we all? Okay, so I'll just grab two of them. Now it's important, these ones aren't too bad, but if you are wearing anything electronic or you've got a phone nearby, it's, yeah, it's quite serious. There's there's warnings everywhere, they're 16 plus. For the strong magnets, they're 18 plus. I, yeah, I'm not sure why, but yeah, magnets are pretty dangerous. Um, you know, if, if you swallow one by accident, um, that can cause you all kinds of problems. Or if you swallow two, that's even worse, like one after the other, because they can still pull um, together through your organs and things, and they can really mess you up. And so, yeah, I, try and take them as seriously as possible and um, usually I will completely take my watch off uh, when I'm using them. I won't have anything mag magnetic around other than the other magnets. Uh, I'll have a Wobby Pop um, stick and, uh, and uh, a cocktail stick I think I've got somewhere. Uh, yeah, well, it's somewhere, I'll, I'll pick it up uh, or even something like that. That's good, that's the little spatula for the uh, resin glue. Um, because that's what you're going to be using to sort of move them in place. If you're new to magnets and you pick up like a, a file or something and you move your, your magnet, then you're going to be in for a bit of a shock because it'll just chump, jump to it. And uh, yeah, before you know it, your file's ruined. <laughs> You've got a magnet that's super glued to your file and yeah, it can get very messy. So um, that's just my, my experience with them. Anyway, I'm going to grab two uh, and move these two either back in their little plastic box uh, well out the way. Oh, it's just stuck to my watch, hasn't it? <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. Um, so, and then what I like to do is is always dry fit. Uh, so I think Forgeworld do give, they do drill a two two millimeter uh, th uh, thickness hole anyway. So if I just pop, pop them in there and then pop that one in there, then I know that that is flush because it's two mil um, deep anyway, sort of dry fitting it, making sure that it doesn't wobble about too much. And that is fine um, for for me for what I what I'm looking for. Uh, if I put it back in, and it's the same kind of, yep, yeah, it's the same. So what I'm going to do is uh, there's no need to drill any deeper in these. Uh, I'm literally just going to put some super glue. Um, it doesn't really make much difference whether you use a super glue or the, the resin glue. Resin glue is a bit overkill for this, but for the bigger magnets, I would use the resin glue. Put a dab in there, and uh, put one of the magnets, so separate these, put one of the magnets on, on that, put it to one side, uh, but when you're detach, when you're, det see, look at that, look. When you're, when you're detaching them, the point of knowing which is north and which is south, when you glue the other end, that they're not repelling. Uh, that's an important thing. I always have a Sharpie or something nearby and put a little marker on it, or I just try and glue both of them uh, while I can memorize them uh, at the same time, and then, you don't want to make contact with these uh, for hours. I mean, yes, the super glue will dry in 10 minutes or so, but 
I, there's no reason for you to then, after sort of 10 minutes, oh, slot, slot them back on, um, because that may well affect the super glue and um, you may come back to the model and find that, uh, that one of the magnets has um, detached from the, the hole and that's not what you want to uh, get out of this. So I'm going to go away and do that and uh, I'll come back and show you these um, auto cannons uh, magnetized. Again, it's not a, a it's not a necessity to magnetize these, um, but I just wanted to magnetize them um, as, as part of the model. Okay, so we're almost reaching the end of the Nemesis Titan. Um, I've pretty much completed it, uh, build-wise, magnetization-wise. So following on from the start of this video, it's a, it's a detailed look at all of the parts that I've magnetized. Um, I think at the start of this video, uh, which I did a while ago, I was uh, looking at primarily the uh, magnetization of uh, these um, quad cannons. So what we'll do is, just for ease of use, we'll take off the arm weapons and the quake cannon. Now things might fall off, things might look a bit uh, jaunty, jointy, <laughs> odd even, like that head just there. But what I wanted to do is just show you, just show you uh, what, what I've been doing uh, in terms of magnetization. Um, the review is coming very, very soon, so thank you for all for your patience. Um, I've just stuck these on with, with white tack at the moment, so they're not glued on, so don't freak out that I haven't pre-assembled it. Magnetization, I've magnetized uh, these. You can use what I've used, which are one by one millimeter magnets. I suggest you use two by two uh, magnets, um, just putting it out there. There's enough uh, space to use two by two, and these are actually heavier than, I don't know, like the Astraeus uh, Void Shields. So you just put a small magnet in one end, one in the other, and for added usability, I would make sure they're all polarized uh, in the same direction so that if you do take Void Shields off for whatever reason, you can just uh, hot swap them uh, about. Um, one millimeter, they... One by one millimeter uh, magnets, uh, they hold quite well. You're not gonna be tipping this uh, Titan upside down um, and they do fit pretty well um, compared to the other Titans, such as the Warlord, which is on a, a much bigger um, you know, curve. Anyway, the main focus I wanted to, to look at are these magnets right here. And for these, I've used uh, four by two magnets, so four millimeters diameter and uh, and two millimeters depth. Uh, they've got a quite a good pull on them, um, so much so that when they go in, they're not really gonna be jig jiggling about. Sometimes jiggling about is a good thing, but in this case, it's not. You want them quite f tight on there, so that um, slows the uh, oscillating speed, so you can pose it, and then it stays locked in that pose. Uh, so that's the magnets for these quad cannons and the uh, void shields. Moving on to the weapon arms. These are 20 millimeter diameter magnets. Uh, just put one in here. You can either use epoxy resin or super glue. I use super glue, that's fine. I've never really had any issues. And uh, you wanna make sure that you get a good strong pull on these. The stronger the better, because these weapons are quite heavy. And again, you're not gonna be taking them on and off that often. Um, so you want them to fit uh, quite snugly. I have put a magnet in the hips. I actually put a, a solid rod magnet in there that is is a heavy duty um rod magnet that rod magnet is uh, i think four millimeter by it goes in quite deep uh the deeper the better obviously and uh that one is the same strength pull as the uh the warlord titan uh, arm weapons so there's that magnet then if we move over to the head and for the head magnets you don't need to use all four holes um, but there is that option uh, what I've done is just put the same size magnets as the um, shoulder cannons good pull you don't need to put magnets on the uh, cabling but you will need to uh, hair drive the, the bend for them so that they slot in uh, nicely and um, you're gonna have to do that uh, with your your other head if you've if you've got the uh, Delta pattern head uh, likewise I've just yeah dropped these off the head which is fine but um, it's up to you. You don't necessarily need to, once it's glued, uh, the only thing that uh, you'll have loose is this top of the head 
and that goes on very well it just sits there there's no real need to magnetize it i think i've magnetized the wall or titan top uh, head but you you don't really need to do that but there is an option and again a couple of one mil by one mil magnets or even uh, two by twos uh, will will work well and then especially if you green stuff over it and then paint over it you're not going to see it at uh, the final uh, magnetization i, I want to bring uh, your attention to is uh, the back it's quite tricky you, um, moving the torso and the, and the shoulders and the carapace and things around because the only contact point when you put it down on something is this rear um, Mauler bolt cannon. But these are the um, ammo, these are the ammunition stores for the massive Quake cannon. Uh, they are big power banks uh, with the um, Nemesis Volcano cannon. But as you can see, I've used uh, all the holes Make use of all the holes where you can. I pushed in a load of magnets. I think I ran out of the six mil, so I put some four by twos in there. Just a point of note, these are actually six mil by two. <laughs> I knew I'd make some kind of mistake somewhere. But yeah, the head magnets are the six by two, and uh, these cup links here are four by two, uh, but then the rest are four by two. I ran out, but that's fine, because even with two, uh, that's more than enough uh, pulling power for these. These aren't gonna be held up like that. They're gonna be slotted in, and uh, they slot in very securely anyway. They don't you know, wobble about freely, they're in there quite snug. So there you go, that's all the magnetization I've done. I haven't magnetized any of the armor plates. Um, the, the torso is not really needed to be magnetized because it fits on there beautifully. If you get the spirit level and you get the torso uh, on there just right, you're not gonna have any issues. Um, I've just put the magnet on there just for added um, stability, uh, but it's not necessarily needed. So in summary, the uh, torso magnet is completely optional. Uh, the weapon magnets are the 20 mil by two mil. Um, they are a must if you wanna change the weapons out. I don't, you know, if you wanna go for the Gatling blasters. The void shield generators are kind of optional at the moment. You don't necessarily need to remove those, um, whereas you did in the, the old style. Uh, again, the anti-air guns and um, that is optional but I think I think you'll probably agree that it's better to have them rotate s somewhat again the head if you only want to have one head which is the you know nicer looking delta head then you can just glue that in and um, but I like the fact that it's magnetizing just pull the head off and um, take the top off and, and look inside at the, the painted minis and um, you don't need to magnetize the uh, quake cannon at all you get a completely separate um you know platform with the uh nemesis volcano cannon so again that's not necessarily needed uh, to magnetize this top uh, gun so there you go that's all the magnetization uh, that is the final video of this uh, whopping great big build guide thank you so much for your patience throughout all of this i know i've staggered the release um over a long period of time but they are all in the playlist if you um wanted to go back and and look at the earlier ones and go through the guide i'm very tempted to do more of these build guides but now that i've got the live streaming just right we'll see what the future holds uh, in that regard but if you like this content and you want to support the channel further please do hit that like button subscribe become a member. Your support is greatly appreciated. The next video on this Titan will be its long awaited review. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching The Emperor Protects.